Hey everybody, HMV here, playing more Into the Breach, and we are going to Pinnacle Robotics now. Uh, we've completed these two missions. We've lost a couple people, uh, a couple civilians, but that's okay. we got pretty good grid defense. We've got the combat mech, who I realized um, while I wasn't playing that this Prime Spear is in all ways better than the Titan Fist. So the Titan Fist can add a dash move, so it could end up being better. It also could add more damage. Um, but I would have to really upgrade him. Um, if something better comes along, I might uh, swap this out for it. So uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, the Pinnacle Robotics is run by a computer. The computer um, is is the CEO here, and she um, she thinks humans are just as important as machines, <laughs> which I think is awesome. Okay, we can uh, we can pick up a power core here. So we're just going to go to this right away. Freeze and defend both robots. I'm not a huge fan of this as a mission type. Um, I'll show you why here. We've got this robotic tank here that can shoot a um, ice uh, thing that'll that'll freeze an enemy. Um, we have to freeze these two robots. We have to finish the mission with these two robots. Not only. Are still alive but frozen and they're enemies so they're going to try to shoot things um this can be very dangerous um i'm going to actually put him here uh no i changed my mind i'm gonna put him here and we're going to have these guys up front so they can get out here and get fighting we also have vet going on so this is uh there's a lot going on in this mission and it can it can go south pretty quick so he's attacking this building he's attacking us which this is actually this is actually good, I guess you would. Also, we don't get to choose where this guy goes. Um, the problem here is this guy could come around here and freeze him, but this guy's in the way, which is a problem. Um, also, this guy's doing one damage and lighting this thing on fire. So if we stand in the way of this guy, he's going to light us on fire, which is, I'm going to say, not a good thing. Um, if we move him out of the way, this guy could get here, but he can't get here. So we can't freeze this guy from the other side. Um, so, what are we going to do? Also, we have to keep this thing alive in order to get our defensive lab. So, well, there's a lot going on. This guy's not attacking, which is nice. This guy's attacking this building, and this guy's attacking this building. I almost want to just sacrifice this building to these guys, um, but that's scary. Um, I also am considering this, which will... Oh, it's, it, I, I've unlocked the building damage upgrade. That's awesome. I, I didn't realize I had done that. The... Um, this artillery weapon uh, has an upgrade. I, I you can't look at it here, sadly. It doesn't and it doesn't show it in the little tooltip. Um, but it has an upgrade to not do the da do the building damage. And I apparently bought that last time. Also, I could. No, that's not that's not very good because I would have, it would take two rounds to do this, and that would push him here, which is a bad thing. Because then these two guys are these two guys are on top of each other, and he's going to shoot the other. He'll shoot him, and he'll either kill him or it'll unice him. If you, know, if you shoot something that's iced, um, the ice goes away, and then the, then the, the the creature is fighting it. So if I shoot him here, it's going to push this guy back. Then he can go over here and punch him this way, um, and then he can go over here and shoot him this way, and then he can go around here and do that. So I think. I don't like no, I don't like that option because if this guy comes around here to shoot this guy and this guy gets knocked back here and then punched here, he's going to shoot this guy and kill him. Um So yeah, I think we have to let this guy shoot this building and freeze this guy first. So let's do it. Push him back. Uh, then, oh, he can't get up here and punch that guy. Didn't think about that, because you can't walk through other creatures. So he's going to do two damage to this building, which really sucks. Hmm, okay, let's, let's think outside the box here. What if we do this instead? What if we freeze this guy? Then he can go up here, shoot this guy. He can come around here, acid this guy. No. He can go here and block this guy. And then he can go here and shoot this guy. 
and then everybody's taken care of. We take no damage, and we'll, we just haven't frozen any of the robots yet. I like that plan. Okay, let's, let's undo all the moves, because we have to do this in the raid order. Okay, first up, we need to kill this guy. Secondly, we need to come over here, shoot this guy. Thirdly, we need to stand here in the way of this. And lastly, we freeze this guy. Um, and he actually doesn't have a decent move, so we're just going to do that. And then next turn, we're not going to have any any uh, vec to deal with, so we can freeze one of these guys fairly easily. Assuming this guy can go four spaces, which he can. Okay. Um, this kind of sucks, though. <laughs> uh, looks like we're, we're going to... We're going to take damage from this guy no matter what, because we can't push him out of the way by, with anybody. So we're going to freeze this guy. He's going to come out here. And here, repairing also stops fire. So if I do this and then repair him, it repairs his health and it stops the fire, which is awesome. And then we're going to do this to stop his fire. And then um, we don't really have anything better to do, so I think we're going to shoot this. So it lights out on fire. Now, buildings, if buildings light on fire... It doesn't hurt them. Again, they just stay on fire, which is actually kind of a nice thing. Okay, now there are Vec to deal with, but this guy can get over here and freeze him. Now we've achieved the goal of the mission, which is always nice. Um, this guy, we could do this, which will kill him. Uh, we could also do this, which will kill him. Yeah, I think I like that better. We're going to punch him and him. Then we're going to shoot him, and he got the he got the acid tip there. And then we're going to heal him, so that these these two guys are still blocking the two spaces. And then we've just won. We've just run the round. We took one building damage, but you know what? Civilians are are. <laughs> um, we could also freeze. You could freeze buildings, and then they wouldn't take damage too. That was an option here. I could have frozen a building instead of freezing this guy, but it was much better to freeze the guy because then he's out forever. If you freeze the building, it saves it for one turn. If you freeze the vec, it saves it forever. Okay, so we've we've achieved both of the goals. We get a we get a power core, which is awesome. The cores are always good. Um, I almost want to turn off the Titan Fist and add range to this at thing because now it goes three tiles. And I don't almost want to do it. I'm actually going to do it. Um, we're actually doing really well. How did we get doing so well after one? I guess we did really well last last mission because um, I'm going to want to add the damage to him. But then we're then we're going to want to look into um, getting new weapons and or upgrading our uh, upgrading our our mech's movement and and, and hit points. Um, anyway, let's see. Let's continue here. Block back spawning three times. That's not going to be a big deal. Um, I'm not, not a big fan of these one. Uh, ones because you just don't get as much. Um, I would love to come through here and get the three one, but these are harder. So we do an easy one that's a gimme, and then for a hard one, versus doing these, which gives you the same number of of things, and also um, unlocks uh, the chance of going up to here to these ones. So I think we're gonna block back spawning three times. Okay, these robots are just sitting here. If they do, if they do come out, if they the, the ice does get broken, we we'll have to deal with them. But uh, otherwise, we could just treat them as obstacles. So I think we're gonna put him here going to put him here, and we're going to put him here, so he can get anywhere along this line and, and shoot the bad guys. And we got four bad guys to deal with, which is a decent number. We also have to make sure we get out there and block spawning, because, obviously, the game told us to. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. This is potentially bad. Um, one thing we can do, this guy's... This guy's weapon only does one damage, so sadly, I was thinking he might be able to kill this guy, but he can't. Um, we could kill him. No, we can't kill him with him. We can't kill him with him, but we can get out of his way, and I think we're actually going to do that. Because we've got three guys doing damage, and we've got um, three mechs to, to handle that damage. So we need to... Uh, actually, we've only got two guys doing damage. So I think we're gonna we're gonna take care of this guy and this guy, and then we're gonna if we break the ice on this guy, this guy'll just kill him, which is pretty awesome. Um, the problem here is we can't get to the we can't get to the 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 spawn point to stop that, but there's not much we can do about that. Um, another thing that would be nice is if I could if I could lob an artillery shell here, it would knock this guy into him, and then it would break the ice and kill him. Um, I could actually do it like this, and I think I'm going to. Because what this is going to do is it's going to break the ice, and then they're both going to get killed, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Uh, I can do a similar thing with this guy. 
like this. I can break his ice. That way, he, when he hits him, he's going to kill him. And then this guy, I don't really have a choice. I just have to shoot him. Kind of sucks. I'm not going to be able to not going to be able to block a spawn this turn, but hopefully I'll be able to block two spawns next turn. Okay, this guy definitely needs to be addressed. It's actually quite easy to address him. Uh, we can shoot him into there with that. And that'll block a spawn, which is awesome. And then we can also... Oh, I'm going to reset the turn because I have a much better... I have a much better plan. Okay, we're going to put him here. And we're going to put him here. And he is going to shoot... Oh, that does three damage. Okay, let's, let's undo our moves. Hmm. Now it's not a better plan. I thought I thought he only did one damage with his with this thing, but I've upgraded it. So never mind. Um, yeah. So let's let's go ahead and do what we were doing before. We're gonna go here, shoot him into that. We're gonna go here. We're gonna punch him. Now he's gonna die when this guy tries to spawn, and he's blocking this spawn. So there's two of our three spawns taken care of. Now we want to. Uh, we want to do damage to this guy. Oops. So let's go here and then shoot him. And well, he only needs one more damage to, to be killed, which is awesome. So he backs into that mountain. He takes two damage on those mountains, gets blocked, gets blocked. We've now blocked th two of the three things. If he just stands here, we get this goal. So we, we might actually end up doing that. Um, yeah. I wish he could get here. If he could get here... Well, no, that wouldn't actually help. So I think what we're going to do is he's going to shoot him. He's going to get on this guy. And he's going to get move over here onto this guy so that the, the two Vec that are spawning are in the farthest back they can possibly be. Okay, we got this guy. These guys are nasty. They shoot acid in a three a three thing area. They're really hard to deal with. Um, however, one thing we could do to deal with them is that. Now he's going to shoot him, kill him, and put acid there, which is awesome. We can also come up from behind and shoot him there. And then we could do... Yeah, see, that's that's bad. This actually wouldn't be so bad. I'd almost rather kill him. And we get the hit points for it, so I think we're going to do that. So this isn't actually the uh, <laughs> the move that we had planned for, but hey, it, it gets the job done. So I possibly could have killed this guy too, but we're not going to worry about it. And the Vec are receding for the conflict zone at maximum speed. The mission's complete. We've saved everybody. Um, okay, well, let's see. Break five buildings out of ice? Not a super difficult thing. Defend both robot factories? I absolutely hate this mission. <laughs> um, it's not as bad as I think it is, like in my brain, um, but it's it's nasty. The problem is, is I think we're going to do it. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, here's the thing, these two robot factories, we have to we have to defend them. Every turn one of them spits out a robot that is a bad guy. So um, we have to we have to address that. Um, and I think I'm gonna put this guy here so he can choose to go down this way or down this way. Also, ice tiles are kind of like mountains. Uh, it takes two hits to destroy them, but then they turn into water. And uh, Vec die in water, obviously, so that's that's nice. Okay, there's a lot going on here. But we can we can get a lot done. We can go here and shoot this guy into this guy and not do anything. We can kill this guy. And this guy needs to be addressed as well. Um, you can't actually kill this guy, which is super annoying. And you also can't kill him. Um, I think we're going to have to resolve ourselves to moving this guy so that when he shoots, he knocks his thing here. This guy's a big deal, and this guy's a big deal. This guy's a big deal because if we get out of the way, he's going to potentially destroy both of these things. This guy's a big deal because he's attacking this. These are the two most important guys, though. We have to address these guys because if we don't, we lose points, um, and the points are the most important thing in the game. Um, one thing he could do is he could, he could attack here, which damages him severely and pushes him out of the way. Then he could go here, and punch him this way, which pushes him out of the way. And then that will allow him to go here and do that. However, that keeps him alive to do two damage. Either way, we're going to take two damage. 
Um, and I don't like taking two damage. Um, we've also got this thing, but if he shoots over it, that's fine. You just can't shoot the square that it's in. Um, another option, what is the turn order? Uh, sadly, this guy's going first. Sadly, this guy's going first, because another option is we could put him here and shoot here, which kills him, which is nice, and pushes him this way, and then he would shoot this guy, um, damaging him, uh, and, and not killing him, sadly, but, but damaging him. But by that point, he's also going to have taken this out. Um, we could double hit this guy, but that's wasting a lot of... That's wasting a lot of hits when we when we have we have four threats and only three ways to deal with them, um, and we don't have any way to deal with all of the threats at once. So we're going to be taking building damage. I think we have to resolve ourselves to that. Um, although will we? What does this guy do? He does two. So if if this guy's standing in this line, he's just going to die, which is not what I want to do. <clears throat> We could put him here and push him back this way. No, because then when he shoots, he's gonna he's gonna do the acid damage across here and he's gonna damage that building. So that's that's a bad idea. Yeah, I think we could shoot him back this way. Shoot him back this way. Then he can come here and shoot here to knock him that way. And then he can come around here and punch him that way. Even better, we'll do it in a slightly different order. Yeah, we're still going to take two building damage unless this we get lucky and this resists. But I don't see a I don't see a way out of it. So we're going to shoot him like this. Then we're going to come up here and grab the pod and shoot him like that. And then he is going to punch him like that. So at least getting him out of the way. Not the best. But we've had we've had worse. There's two building damage that sucks. And then there's the this is broken ice now. If it takes another hit, it's going to be broken for forever. And uh... okay, could we possibly have more things going on? Okay, this guy needs to get destroyed because he's going to do damage across here. These two guys need to be destroyed. Sadly, it looks like we need to destroy him with these two hits. Um, this guy's going to do damage here, and this guy's going to do damage here. So we have to kill this guy. Um, I'm wondering if I could somehow, yeah, let me think here. Now there's, there's no good way to, there's no good way to do this. What I, what I was thinking about is if I shoot this guy, it'll push him this way. So he's no longer doing this. Actually, that's not a bad thing. It'll push him into the water, killing him. And then this guy will just need to be taken care of. Or actually, he doesn't even need to be taken care of. These guys just need to get out of his way. Then this guy, who has a move of four, one, or he can shoot him. And then one, two, three, four. No, one, two, and then he can punch him and kill him. And then one, two, three, four, he can shoot him and kill him. Does his gun does two damage? Yes, it does. So I think that's the way we're going to do it. This takes care of a lot of threats. And then you are going to punch him this way. And then you are going to shoot him this way. And now we don't actually have any Vex spawning next turn because there were so many enemies on the, on the screen. The, the game is nice that way. So we should be able to mop up these three guys uh, this turn. And then we're going to get we're going to get a decent number of spawns now. Okay, we got one, one robot and two spawns. Um, this is actually pretty easy to deal with, um, so much that we could probably also block a spawn if we wanted to. Um, but I think we're going to go, you're going to go here and shoot him into this mountain. You are going to go here and punch these two guys together. And then you are going to go here and shoot this guy. And then we'll just deal with the two spawns. I think that's the way, that's the right way to go. And I think we're going to go across this way so that we drop acid on both of these things. So anybody who stands here now is going to... Oh, I guess this one is the only one that got acid on it. Um, but anybody who stands here now will get acid on him, making him easier to kill uh, in a future turn. There's only one turn after this, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, Zenith, I guess, is the name of that CEO. Okay, this guy needs to be addressed because he's done doing two damage right here. So we can punch him this way and then shoot him that way, and then we're done. Um, this guy also needs to be addressed, but we can't kill him, so I think we're going to do this. 
just to push him out of the way. We're going to double smack him to kill him. And we got to level up, which is awesome. Yeah, this is the this is that that robot, the, the pilot I have, who's a robot. He's from this island. the The pilots are from specific islands, uh, which is kind of cool. So they have they have island specific text, which is which is kind of cool. Okay, this is a science class weapon. Like I said before, we don't have a science um, mech on our squad, so we're probably not going to use this. We can, but uh, it costs an extra power to run, which um, right now isn't the best idea. Um, he gets plus three gear defense. That's awesome. We're at twenty one percent. We haven't actually put any resources into that. Uh, we get one. We get one power here, and I think I think we're going to start working on this. So we're going to give it to him. We're going to give him extra move, um, and then uh, once we get another one, we'll get it. We'll put it here, and then once we get a third one, we'll remove him from here and put it onto here. Um, and then when we when we win the island, we'll we'll sell that. So we need to kill seven enemies uh, and protect the coal plant in an ice storm. That can be kind of kind of a dodgy one because if you can't kill the enemies fast enough, uh, they get frozen by the ice storm, which is which is possibly bad. Uh, break five buildings out of the ice and kill seven enemies is kind of a scary one. Um, so I actually think I'm going to go for this cheap one because we've gotten every every goal right up until this point. So I don't want to risk losing that bonus. So I think we're just going to protect the emergency batteries on this one. Kind of kind of take a knee. <laughs> and uh, uh, guarantee the points. Um, I think we're going to send him around this way in case these guys come around here. Um, he can, and remember, he's got the five movement points, so he can get he can get out one, two, three, four, five. He can get out to here um, and shoot anybody from behind. Uh, and then we'll put him here, I guess, so he can go range from here to here. Uh, a temporal rescue press, designated time pod. Okay, there's another thing to do. Okay, now, this is the first time I think that we've actually seen this, uh, the, the Scion. I'm not sure why we haven't seen it up until now, but but he's granting these guys um, armor. And armor uh, takes the first damage every single time you use it. However, if somebody gets acided, uh, the armor uh, stops working, which is which is nice. Okay, so he's uh, he's webbed, so he can shoot this guy because it does it does his weapon normally does two damage, but it says it does one now because the thing is armored. So we could push him back this way, and then he, not only will he die, but when he dies, he's going to leave a puddle of acid here, which would be very very nice. Um, and then we can uh, this guy is very strong though. Hmm. Let me think. I might want to do this slightly differently. He has moving a four. One, two, three, four. He only needs to go up to here, though. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot him. Then he's going to go to here and go across here. He could actually do it this far, but this will be fine. And he's going to hit this guy. Oh, that's not a good thing. I just realized he's going to do three damage to him. <laughs> What's the turning? He's actually got to go first, so I think we're going to leave this guy alone and not actually do anything with him. So we're going to shoot this thing this way and just let it go like that. The reason I'm doing this is because this guy's going to go... When you look at the turn order, I'm holding Alt to do this. He's going to go first, and he's going to hit this guy and kill him. Um, that way... Uh, he would do three damage to him and kill him, but we're going to leave this guy in, in place and, and let that happen. So It does one damage to him, but one is better than three. Okay, this is terrifying right here. I, I don't want this to happen at all. Um, we really need to kill this guy, so I'm going to do this. And actually, that'll kill both of those guys, so I think that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and bring you here. And then you're going to you're gonna acid through. Let's just go all the way through. Why not? Now, these guys have lost their, um, their bonus, so he's going to shoot them to, to do one damage to each, and then he's going to shoot like this to push him into him, and then the bump damage is going to kill them both. Best of the best. Have three pilots at maximum level simultaneously. That's awesome. <laughs> I like that goal. Okay. Now, the... the uh, the what do you call it? The the little screen that told me what I, what kind of mission I was choosing told me that this mission was going to have shields in some of the buildings. This is the thing that we need to protect, and it has a shield on it, which is really nice. So it, it makes it a little bit easier to uh, to protect it, obviously. But we're gonna we're gonna try to kill this guy anyway. So let's go and do that. And that that takes care of him. This guy's pretty weak, so I think Ralph Crandon's gonna go like that. We got three guys going here, so we got we have three of us and three of them. We should be able to handle any threat that that comes our way. 
This guy's on fire, but he's got two hit points, so uh, he has to be dealt with. This guy's not actually attacking anything, because once we move out of the way, he's fine. This guy's not attacking anything, so once we get him out of the way, he's fine. Let's just do that, um, and then come over here and shoot him, and then come over here and... Yeah, let's do that. And that breaks the ice, and it makes the water acidy, because the, the creature on that square was acid. He's going to run across, not do anything, and then run away. And yet another completed mission. And we've got a uh, promoted guy. We've protected the time pod. Let's see what we get in there. Oh, we get a prime class weapon. Okay, this might replace our other one. Leap to a tile damaging self and adjacent tiles. This is actually a pretty awesome weapon. So we're probably going to... And he gets plus one mech move, which is awesome. So now his mech move is, is four instead of three like it was before. Or maybe it was him. I don't remember. But anyway, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to drop the Titan Fist. We're going to put this in its place. We're going to give him the power, and we're going to do this. Now, we need to take, as soon as his bark is gone, um, if only I could take this with me, I know what you mean. Uh, he only gets four more. Um, so that's going to max out all these, and he's not going to get move or health. But that's not a big deal, because he has a plus one move and a plus one HP, so or plus two HP. So he's actually really, really set to, to take care of these. So I think we're just going to pump a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of stuff in him. I said I was going to bring his damage up, but I would love him. You know what? And I'm actually thinking about it. Maybe I'll undo that. Although it'd be nice to just have. So yeah, let's do that because one power isn't going to uh, isn't going to let me get this plus one damage. So I'd rather I'd rather give myself options uh, for the other guy. Okay, so the hive leader has been drawn out. Uh, we have elite two uh, human beings uh, saved, which is nice. Let's go ahead and save some more. Um, okay, just like before, we've got a we've got a boss. We've got some other vec. We've got a corporate tower. Uh, we got to kill the boss. It's very important, and uh, we have to. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm going to put him here in the water. He can't shoot in the water, but he can just on his first turn back up and and go all the way along here. Um, the other option is to put him over here so he can kind of take this vertical and shoot this way. But I kind of like him along the back instead. Okay, as always, the boss is the most important thing. Because um, we, we, we're trying to kill the boss. That's that's our goal, so <laughs> it, it's important that we do that. Um, I think I want to shoot this guy this way. Then, then do this to push the boss this way, but then he's going to be there. So that's not the best idea. Uh, we could put him all the way back here to shoot this guy that way. That way, when we push the boss this way, um, he doesn't hurt him. And I think that's a good idea. So then we'll do that. And then that'll also kill this guy, right? Yeah. And then he can go up here and punch this guy out of the way. So that, that protects all the buildings. It doesn't do any damage to the boss, but um, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to shoot him this way. We're going to shoot him, pushing the boss over. Then we're going to go over here, and actually, let's just go ahead and go all the way across. Although I should pro possibly should have put the acid there now that I think about it. Okay, got a lot of acid on the thing. Oh, now he's armored, which is less than ideal. This guy is not a threat, because as soon as he moves out of the way, he's going to do his three damage here. This guy is not a threat, so this is the only threat we really have to deal with. Um, he's kind of a threat, actually, now that I think about it, because if this guy wants to shoot him, he can't. So I think we're going to go over here. He could shoot him and kill him. Um, then he could go up here. Oh, this is this is the way it's going to work. Watch this. Shoot him and kill him. And go up here. Acid tip this guy. Now he has acid on him, so he's doing six damage. He's going to kill him. Boom. Done. Then let's go up here and to add insult to injury. Let's remove everybody's armor. <laughs> That is one of the best turns ever. That was that was fantastic. Thank you very much, little Vec guy. Okay, we're dealing with damage here. Um, this is the most important one here is this guy. He's not that strong, though, so he's not that big of a deal. I think what we're going to do is we're going to push this guy this way. So now he'll hit him. Then we're going to go back here, do a little bit of damage to this guy. Go over here, take care of this guy. Um... I just realized this is a terrible thing because I thought I was I thought I was stopping this guy's turn, but he shoot I thought he was shooting this building, but he's shooting this guy. So when I pushed him this way, now he's shooting the building, and that's a terrible thing because he goes first. So never mind that. That was dumb. Let's go ahead and do this instead then. Let's punch him this way. And then 
Hmm. Yeah, because I don't want to shoot him because I want him to uh, smack in him, although he doesn't really do that much damage. Uh, what if we do this instead? No, because then neither one is going to get killed. Although it just makes them weaker and easier to kill next turn. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then he's going to do one damage to him, so it's it's like the end of his life there. So and then we'll do that to protect the tower. Yeah, I like that. Because one hit point damage to either of these two guys killed him, which is awesome. Uh, because he has acid. Okay, so... Uh, this guy needs to die, and this guy needs to die. The other ones are just gravy. It doesn't need to die per se. And actually, just shooting this guy right here will take care of will take care of everything. Um, however, we can do better than that. We can we can kill this guy and this guy. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and shoot him. I mean, everybody's at full hit points now, so it doesn't really matter. But it doesn't hurt. You know, leaving the Vec alive, the, the, you get little barks about it, and people saying, "I, I hope they don't come back and attack." But that's that's just flavor. <laughs> the the actual the actual completing the mission is really the only important thing, and leveling up your guys, which I don't have to do anymore. Okay, we can we can pick up a, a pilot. We can pick up this Prime class Mercury Fist, but we already have our weapons for the Prime set. Um, this guy's nice. He can move again after shooting, which is a which is a pretty good bonus. He can get himself into danger, take his shot, and then get out of danger. Um, it requires a power though, so that's kind of sucky. He also has plus one mech move, which is pretty nice. Um, as I said before, this isn't worth taking because you can you can just trade this guy in for two rep and then buy your two. Um, power for it anyway. He's now unlocked in the hangar, which is awesome. Um, now, let's go ahead and spend our reputation. We've got seven. By selling him, we'll get nine. And then selling these two, we'll have ten and eleven. This is one of my favorite weapons in the game. Um, period. One of my favorite weapons. I'm going to buy it. Uh, and we're going to actually fast track powering it up, because we can put it in this artillery guy, and he can just lay fire everywhere in the game. It is it is absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and do that. We're, we're just going to buy it. I'm not even going to think about it. Um, now we're at five. So then this will be get us seven, eight, nine. And then we are golden. So he is going to put this on him. And then, uh, oh wait, we need to buy the power too. Duh. Spend One, two, three. There we go. And then, uh, we could, now I want him to have his damage. So let's go ahead and one, two, three, and he is, he's set. And then look at this, two more power, and then we can we can power up these things, which would be which would be really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. Now we still want to, uh, we still want to put our next power into this here. The next two power we get, I, I promise Penny, we are gonna, we're gonna power up your mech. Um, but we are, we are, we are really good. And the reason I wanted to power this up is, is um, the no self damage. Um, like with self damage, it, it can be pretty nasty because uh, because he does one damage to himself and he's already he's only at two health, so like he can only shoot it once and he's damaged. But now he can just go to town and just lay waste to everything. It's it's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and leave the island. And we have sustainable energy. We finished three corporate islands without dropping below four grid power. That's a that's a bonus. And then we've got our next island, but that's next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm HMV, and I will, as always, talk at you later.